Welcome to the B-Roll, additional material to supplement the primary footage video course of the Video Teach project. During this course you will learn how to enhance your storytelling by incorporating B-Roll film into your main video recording. The terms A-Roll and B-Roll were introduced for the first time in the early years of cinematography. A-Roll was the name given to the primary footage of a film, whereas B-Roll was an identical roll of film which was used for additions to the A-roll or for the making of the transitions. The term A-roll has gradually fallen out of use. Today, B-roll is considered any additional material used to supplement the primary footage in order to enhance storytelling or to support your point of view. When shooting B-roll you first have to decide what extra footage you may need for your video. The B-roll helps to develop a more intriguing story or to explain further a complex point. It can be a zoom out, showing a landscape, the sky, or some special building. Or it can be a zoom in, focusing on a specific detail, be it natural or human-made. What guides you is the relevance of the B-roll to your main topic, and its power to amplify the message you are trying to convey. Producing quality B-roll involves the following. Planning. Capture relevant footage. Shoot variety. Maintain consistency. Select the sound. Play with speed, sources of B-roll, and editing. Planning the B-roll shooting is essential. While designing your video you should already determine what supplementary footage is needed for filling in possible gaps in the narration or for further developing certain aspects of the storyline. Do not be afraid to shoot more film than you intend to use, it is always better to have more material to choose from. Leave the decision about what part of the B-roll should be integrated into your video for the time when all shooting is done and you begin the editing process. The purpose of the B-roll is to complement the main subject of your video. You have to identify locations, activities, or objects, which are closely related to your topic and can provide additional information. This extra material is necessary for filling in any gaps in the storyline of the main footage. Besides, the B-roll can be used to introduce supplementary aspects of the theme or to bring particular features to the attention of the viewers. B-roll can also serve as an interruption of the story examining different perspectives, implications, or outcomes, which may illustrate a key point or strengthen the argumentation. When shooting B-roll you should try to capture a variety of shots, play with a range of viewpoints and exploit the potential of different frames and angles. B-roll is a distraction from the main footage, so it is extremely important that it can maintain visual interest. Your goal is to pique the viewer's curiosity and keep them engaged. So even if you are filming a very technical video, you should add some emotional value to it. This is easily achieved with B-roll, which can add the energy of discovery or a sense of mystery to your narrative. When shooting B-roll, it is important to keep in mind that the style and lighting of the extra footage is consistent with that of the main film. This will ensure smooth transitions and make the finished piece look like a cohesive whole. Even if you want your B-roll to add variety and contrast to the storyline, you should aim to match the overall aesthetic of the two shots. Stylistic inconsistencies within the video can leave viewers feeling confused and disoriented and can distort your message. The soundtrack accompanying B-roll editions is an important element of video production. The sound of your B-roll pieces can be the same as the sound of the main footage, maintaining continuity between different shots by bridging gaps and providing coherence to the overall audiovisual experience. This can be simply the voiceover narration of the video or the voices of the participants in the story. You can also choose some music to accompany an otherwise silent recording or make some soundscapes or ambient noises more audible, adding a more realistic and immersive feel to the film. Alternatively, the B-roll sound can be used to create contrast with the main storyline, introducing emphasis or highlighting specific elements in order to draw the viewer's attention to key points. This can be achieved, for example, by changing the voice of the narrator or introducing new characters to the story. You can even decide to make your B-roll stand out by accompanying it with a different musical piece or a distinctive soundscape or juxtaposing ambient noise. The timing, speed, and flow of visual and auditory elements in video creation are crucial since they can significantly influence the viewer's engagement and emotional response. 
The pace of your B-roll will impact the overall rhythm and energy of the entire film. It will mostly depend on your particular content and the desired audience reaction if you will match the speed of your B-roll to that of the main footage or not. Slower pace is achieved by using longer shots, slower transitions, and less frequent cuts. It can create a more relaxed mood, allowing viewers to absorb the information on screen. It can also be used to build tension or to emphasize certain elements in your B-roll, which may enhance your storyline. Faster pace means quicker cuts, dynamic transitions, and rapid sequences. It creates a sense of urgency and of movement and helps keeping the viewers engaged and excited. It is commonly used to deliver information rapidly, especially if this is necessary but boring sequence of scenes. In many cases you can capture your B-roll yourself, just as you can record your main footage. Often it is just a matter of preliminary planning and your skills as a videographer. But sometimes it can be more cost-effective to buy a professional piece of B-roll. There are numerous websites offering affordable B-roll footage online, some of them even have many royalty-free B-roll video clips. You can search through them using keywords or checking their different themes. A short list of royalty-free or affordable stock B-roll can include for example, Pixabay, Video Hive, Vidivo, Big Stock, Getty Images, or Free Animal Video. At the very beginning of the editing process of your video, you have to integrate your B-roll footage. It is important to select appropriate transitions so that the final video would flow seamlessly from the main footage to the B-roll and back. When editing the visuals and the soundtrack, you should apply the same settings to all of the footage, since keeping up the overall aesthetic consistent throughout the entire video is essential for the wholesome look and feel of the finished film. Even when your B-roll is meant to introduce contrast and add emphasis to the main video, it must not appear as a patchwork but as an integral part of the production. Creating an informative and engaging video very often requires the usage of additional material to supplement the main footage. The production of this extra film has to be planned beforehand and carefully chosen. It should blend in seamlessly with the rest of the shots and fit nicely with the audiovisual style of the production. The B-roll potential as a storytelling device is indeed endless. However, do not overload your video with B-roll. Too many diversions from the main film may cause the viewers to lose track of the plot or miss entirely the leading message of your work. Thank you very much for watching this learning video. If you like it, you can continue following us on YouTube or our other channels, such as Facebook or the official website of the project VideoTeach at videoteach.eu. All the content of this project has been produced through the international collaboration of nine expert partners and is funded by the European Union.